Welcome to another MaxGain Systems installation series video. We will be installing a UHF male solder on connector or PL259 onto LMR400 coax. This coax has a single braided shield, foil covered dielectric, and a solid center conductor, making it a budget friendly low loss option. The MaxGain Systems PL259 connector can easily be installed using standard stripping dimensions. Now let's get started with our installation. We start out by separating the outer shell from the PL259 by simply unscrewing it. Place the outer shell on the coax. Grab the PL259 main body and line up the center pin with the end of the coax. Place a mark or just use your thumbnail to mark where to cut the black jacket of the coax just below the solder holes of the PL259. Grab your knife or utility blade to cut around the coax where you marked it. Cut through the outer black jacket only. Pull off the jacket you just cut. Grab the PL259 body again and line up the center pin with the end of the coax. Place a mark or use your thumbnail to mark just below the second knurled ring of the PL259 to show where to cut through the braid and dielectric. Cut down to the center conductor trying not to nick or score the center conductor. Cut the braid and foil back 1 16th of an inch to ensure that none of the braid or foil is touching the center conductor. This could cause a short, which we will test for later. Be sure the center conductor is straight. Grab your PL259 inner body, and with a twisting motion to the right or clockwise, begin to thread it onto the coax. You may need a pair of pliers, as I did here, to get the center conductor through the end of the center pin of the PL259. You should see the center conductor of the cable perfectly aligned with the end of the PL259 center pin. If there is any extra, just trim it off with your cutters. Make sure you have a safe place to solder. When you start soldering, be sure to tin the iron. Place a small amount of solder on the tip of the iron and wipe off both sides. Now, place a small amount of solder back onto the tip of the iron and touch it to the exposed center conductor inside the center pin of the connector. Do not get solder on the outside of the center pin. If you do, you will affect the tolerances where the connector makes contact and you may not be able to insert it into the UHF female. Make sure to heat the pin before touching the solder to it. Do not get impatient and let the iron melt the solder. This allows for cold solder joints which are not ideal. You must let the work melt the solder. The center pin of the MaxGain Systems PL259 is held in place with high heat resistant Teflon and can withstand the heat of most any iron. And will not melt like others. It just needs a little bit of solder to seal it and make a good connection. Now wipe and retin your soldering iron. We are moving on to the solder holes around the body. Touch your iron to one side of the hole which allows for half of the hole to remain free. Once the work is hot enough to melt the solder, place the solder on the work. Do not touch the solder to the iron. Use just enough solder to fill the hole. We want to repeat this three more times and fill in every hole around the PL59 body. Now we want to test our work and make sure we do not have an internal short. Grab an ohmmeter and set it to the lowest ohm scale that it has. Touch the two leads together and it will show you that there is little to no resistance. This is what you do not want to see in your installation. Touch one lead to the body and one lead to the center pin of the connector. My meter is reading that there is infinite resistance so my installation is working perfectly. Be sure to turn off the meter when done to conserve its battery. 
Now be careful, do not touch the main body of the PL359. It will still be very hot. Grab the outer shell we placed on the cable earlier and slide it up onto the PL59 main body. It will transfer heat quickly, so let the connector cool before attempting this. You have just completed the installation of the PL259 connector onto LMR400 coaxial cable. If this video helped you, be sure to hit that like button, comment below, and subscribe. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.